today we're on a lawn that has been on the program for a while. Um, it looks pretty good. It's actually quite beautiful. Uh, there's a few in the neighborhood that we're going to go to and also do some comparisons with some others that are not uh, running program but are being run by other fertility companies. But the point of this particular segment is going to be talking about the benefit of RGS on root zones. And so I'm going to go and choose some places today at random and just yank some grass out of the ground and see what we're looking at. So you can see this is this is beautiful. Color's beautiful. It's very thick and very hard to yank things out because of this. Massive, massive root growth. This is all Floritam St. Augustine grass. Get rid of some of that, take a look at this. And see how these roots are developing. Okay. Good length here, six inches roughly, maybe a little bit more. And again, I just yanked this out of the ground. This was just torn up. But notice the development and the way that these strings are actually coming together. Now that is the benefit of adding RGS into your program, whether homeowner or professional. Because the rest of this, you know, this gets fed with a combination of our products. Um, and it's rotated on a regular basis between, you know, uh, nitrogenous products like the InCharge, uh, always running some form of RGS. Maybe there's a little bit of iron um, or, you know, uh, other supplements as we run through the season based on temperatures to get that color that we're looking for. So this is all, uh, this is all part of what's making super healthy turf. And now my camera doesn't necessarily want to focus on the color that maybe if I get a little closer, you can see it but the color of that and the development of that leaf blade. So adding in these uh, carbon products, these, the, the Humic 12, the Aerate, the, the RGS, the Detach, all of those items are what is going to develop root systems like this, which is going to give grass that's typically stressed out a much easier time. So it's been a, somewhat of a cold winter. Um, it's been challenging to grow some of this turf. It's been in and out and in and out as far as temperatures go, frost and things like that. But when we go through the neighborhood and take a look at the lawns that are on this program compared to anything out there, it's going to blow your mind. So we're going to do that. But this is what we're going for. This is it. This is what's going to build that sort of ultimate topsoil. That's what's going to give your nutrition a better chance to get to the plant are these vast amounts of roots. So let's go see what else we can find. So this lawn behind me is the one that I was just standing on, okay? You can see the color, the consistency of the color, and how it goes all the way through in every direction. Now, all of these plants and everything are being treated as well. Everything here along the side. Now I'm panning across, this is the end of the street, over towards another house that's actually on the program. And so I'm going to show you that behind me. This also is taking full advantage of RGS, in charge, all of the soil stimulants, you know, running humic at certain times of year, 002 at certain times of year, and this also is going to have the same type of thing. If I dig down in here, we're going to see some massive roots. So again, you can see the thickness, the density of this turf is phenomenal, and if we can get in there to even grab a runner, and actually, if you look down in there, you can see the soil, how it's starting to develop as well. Let's get see if we can yank some of those out. You know, it would be better if I actually could cut some of those because I'm tearing them and I can feel it being torn. But let's see if we can grab on here. They're just so deep. Yeah, we're going to have to cut those out because they're going down too deep. But look at the development on these roots. Huge. So that's what's happening out here. And this is what we're trying to get to with every lawn that we treat. Now, as a comparison, you know, we can go down there and, and here on this property line and see um, a lawn that is treated under a very conventional type of a program, right? And just immediately looking at it, you can see a difference in this turf right here, okay? Now I'm going to show you right there along the property line so you can get a good idea. Now look right here. This is where the applications stop. Now while you might not see a total difference in the color here, 
you can immediately in the density and the way that the turf is actually holding up. Just looking inside, right here to right here. Okay? So that's kind of what we need to be paying attention to is how well this nutrition is actually getting down into the ground on a conventional versus other. Now this is just gonna break. Look at that lack of development on these roots. Okay, again, probably in all fairness, it should be cored, you know, but notice, notice this root. I want you to just take a look at this right here. This root pulled out of a conventional lawn care program versus one of ours. Chosen at random, okay? Both pulled from a parking strip. Look at the development. Look at the soil. Comparison. What do you see? Okay? Is the grass different? Stolens? Things changing? Yeah, maybe, but this is just so dense what we were coming off and how everything's branching um, by comparison to a conventional program. You can see just immediately what's going to happen. A lawn like this one, here that's being treated on a conventional program is going to require more water. Nutrients aren't going to get in as quickly. There's going to be more potential for things to leach, run off, and um, that's where you run into the issue. So there is a very real, uh, real world look at what's happening. And, and I do wish the camera would pick it up better um, kind of down the property line. You can see right here at the post just right there at this post is where it goes from a conventional care to another one. And I do know the company that takes care of this place versus this one. So, um, you know, should that be a helpful sales tool for me to be able to show them? One would think so, but that's not what we're trying to do here. So we're going to go look at a couple more lawns. I'm going to give you some good comparison, go to some good looking lawns that are not treated on our program. And we're still going to yank roots out of that too and then you'll really get to see the difference. So that's what's gonna happen right now. And there's all kinds of lawn care going on in this neighborhood today. I don't know if you can hear all the blowers and chainsaws and stuff, but I'm gonna take a look at this one right here. Got another at random. If somebody was on here, I wish they could just say, hey, go pick a spot. Well, I got, uh, right there, right over here, over here. Where do you want me to go? Where should I pull the root from? This is really important. This is the cornerstone of being, uh, having like, the most epic programs. If I can get down in there, damn it. <laughs> They're very tight. I wanna get these low lying runners out that have been in there, see that? Look at these things. The development here. See, see, see? What are we talking about here? Growing roots, growing roots, growing roots. Big, just branched and awesome. This is what we want. We want to get that down in there. Look at this grass. It's fantastic. I'm on a walk. I am on a walk with Hunter Pignato. Bio Enviro Services. Long time friend and colleague. Forever. Yeah. Long time. Long time. Since this boy was knee-high to a grasshopper. Uh, we are walking through a neighborhood where he uh, takes care of some properties. Now, Hunter's claim to fame here is uh, not only does he have his own business, he also works for me. And uh, this is the face of the guy who's running around uh, interfacing with clients in Florida a lot um, on our delivery truck. So, where we are right now, we're in Belle Isle. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're Belle Isle, just looking at some properties. Now, as I walk, you're going to see things just behind me that are definitely not on the program. Uh, some of them are. This one is right here on the left. Let's just go ahead and spin around here. Here's one. Only been done twice. Only been done two times, okay, excellent. How'd it look when you took it over? Yellow, the whole middle. The whole middle. Filling in lovely. So two applications, when did you start it? Uh, four months ago, I've only done two applications, or four months, every two months an application. That was very heavily watered. Heavily watered, and it was like... Uh, it still is, actually. Yeah, it's still a little wet. Let's see what's going on in here. I'd say the program is taking hold. 
roots are branching rapidly. That is what we want to see. Look at that. Not just a straight line. Thick hair roots moving in all directions. Love that. It's a great one. Just keep right on walking. What else are we going to see here? That's yours too? This guy's been here for over a year. Over a year? All right. Look at that. That is... This one right here has had a lot of fur. All right, so under a tree, now this would be a place where we would typically have a lot of trouble with turf growing under these big oaks out here. A lot of people seem to struggle growing grass. And maybe this isn't a spot where we would get deep roots. I mean, this could be a good section to just kind of see what's happening here, because who knows? Let's get down in there. See what we can find. Gotta find a good, good one to yank out of there. Oh, and that's gonna break. I can hear I'm breaking. Ooh, did you see how much soil came off of that? Look at that topsoil. <laughs> Look at that root hanging that's down how there. How far the grass is to the ground? How close it is? That's right. We've got soil right here. Nice, nice. Actually, you can see, and you guys have seen me dig in the soil in Florida before. Now look at what's happening here. It's really starting to start to, it's, it's aggregating. You can see the roots in there that broke off from that section I just pulled out. Mm -hmm. but look at that. Look at those roots. Actually clinging on to this Florida soil. Fantastic. That is beautiful. Lovely. Just growing roots. Just growing roots. Mm -hmm. So this one, obviously, this is all part of it. Same side, yeah. We have a septic tank under here. This is always yellow. It's always messed up with a lot of water damage, and it actually looks good right now. It takes a lot to see the yellow blades. Mm -hmm. So no matter what, you never be able to have that spot looking right. It's always too much water. But that section does great over there. Mm -hmm. Looks great. Looks good. Do you do the uh, shrubs too? Here? Yeah. Yeah, I just do them a couple times. Cool. All right, we're gonna walk around some more, see another one. I'm at another uh, conventionally treated lawn here, and I was just trying to see if I could get any roots out of this. Uh, this is a very soon-to-be customer, I imagine. Hey, look, I got a couple. And these are at least branching, but can you see that? See the difference of what we're talking about here? Conventional fertility. Focus. No focus. Almost there. All it wants to do is look at me, apparently. Tiny, short, Tiny. barely any hair roots. Nothing's, yeah. nothing's really coming off of this yeah. the way that it's I supposed to. I guarantee you that whatever fur out they lay down is just kicked in, you know? Ah, this is a, this is a major yeah, competitor in good. here. I'm gonna pan down this way. That one on the left mine too, with the trailer. I've had them for a year. You wanna go to that one real quick? Yeah, we'll go over there. Let's go take a look at that one. Now, I just, I wanna just make sure that everybody's seeing the other lawns in the neighborhood. And as part of Florida in general, a good amount of people have lawn care. Pretty significant amount. So, we're looking at lawns that are likely treated professionally, okay? Not all of them, obviously but, you know, a pretty fair amount. So we're just kind of popping through and taking looks at, uh, at homes that have been treated for a while versus ones that are not. Uh, yeah, this is the property line, like... Super thin. Right, right here. It's over there. Yeah. But it, it was all uh, super thin. All this was super thin. It used to be all dirt. Uh-huh. So the consistency of the native soil is like this, just so everybody has a perspective. This, yeah. is, this is consistent. Sandy. No, I, I biogreen that every time I hit the yard, I do the round that right there. That's gonna be in really good shape. Yeah, I just, uh, I wanna see what we can get out of here. Good gosh. Look how much there is. Gripping and grabbing and holding on to the ground. Long roots growing. They're beautiful. They're beautiful and they're grabbing the soil. John, this used to be a very heavily watered area and the RGS cleaned it right up. Here's the difference in the soil between where things are growing right now versus what's exposed. That's 
get in there, you see this? See the difference? This is what needs to be taken into account. Look at the difference, look at the color. Organic matter, none. This is what happens when you're growing plants with healthy root systems and you're sending stuff back into the ground, okay? It is the same soil, but just look at the difference in the color alone. And you can really see how it stands out um, by getting that extra organic matter and carbon in there. Very important. Uh, standing in another one, this one has, did have nothing on it uh, for a long time. This is a, a recent pickup here. Two apps, three apps. Three apps. Three apps. So this is the third app one week ago. RGS and uh, in charge on this to get it up and established. Another good spot to kind of tear down and see what's going on yet. Right in here. I try to break these free without tearing them. Again, gripping the soil and growing these incredible roots. Absolutely phenomenal. Now I'm gonna do another comparison because right across the street there's actually a really good looking lawn. So I wanna, well, it's okay. Uh, but we're gonna go over here and take a look at this one and just do a quick sample. I'm gonna go in, similar position, similar shade. Uh, that just, I'm trying to make this as open, transparent as possible so you guys understand. It's not a bad looking lawn, okay? Not bad. Uh, it's thin, you can see that. Huh, I think I almost got a root. That's all we're getting over here. Again, not a bad looking lawn, but so that's, that's the root development though. It's not enough. It's not enough. And this lawn will suffer and end up, you know, ultimately having a hard time in the heat. So, that's that lawn, right here. So anyway, there's a quick sample. Those are things that we're looking at out here. Um, checking out these places that are, you know, been on the program for a little while. Some a couple of months, some over a year. Um, seeing how the soil is holding up and pulling together, how the roots are developing, and just kind of checking out the overall result. But again, uh, it's pretty obvious who's on the program here. So keep that in mind, get those roots deep, and you will have the greenest grass in the neighborhood.